welcome to another quick tutorial. Um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about um, BP UV Edit and BP 3D Paint, or um, better known as Body Paint. But um, they show up here up in your layouts as BP 3D Paint, BP UV Edit. So anyway, um, the power in this is being able to, instead of just adding um, materials to different items, being able to paint our scene and create materials from you know getting really creative in how we want them to look so um, you know, the basic way to do this is I just started off with just a plane here in our startup layout um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump first into BP UV edit and I'm going to click up here on this paint setup wizard the object I want selected and the only object in my scene right now is the plane in my UV setup by default single material mode is usually selected here I've unselected it and I'll show you why in a minute and then we're just gonna not mess with this as of yet because we're not gonna paint any of these but we could do that if you wanted to mess with luminance or environment or things like that but we're just gonna focus on the color right now so I'm gonna hit finish and we have now done our initial UV edit and now we're gonna jump over to body paint and okay and now okay so now we have got I, I, I was not selected on the um, brush tool so now I've got the, the brush tool selected and I can see if I drag over I can see my brush moving all around and I like to jump over to the 3d paint mode and we've got some settings here we've got the brush size we've got the pressure okay pressure is really how, how, how much paint or whatever you want to glob down and then our hardness is how much you want to tighten up those edges so you know usually keep hardness pretty low if you're painting you know environmental objects and the brush pretty big for now um, we'll just leave it there kind of go moderate on the pressure and then down here we've got our layers so right now we're just working on the single layer right now um, there are a bunch of different um, brushes you can access in here if you want to get really interesting with different types of patterns you can create but um, for right now we're on this default single brush and then we've got these swatches and some of these are pretty cool so let's say you know I'm trying to create a base la layer of pavement or maybe this is like a Martian surface um, I can just start painting on here and see it you know I can make it a little bit bigger and just kinda slap it around here um, and what's nice about this now with my layers I can come in here and I can go functions new layer go into my swatches I can pick you know maybe I want to kind of blend it with this color and then going into my layers I can pick you know how much I want these sort of to blend or I could even change the blend mode to you know multiply or you know I could just screen it and I've got this interesting looking ground and I go to my startup back into my startup and click on my move tool and I'm back to my normal view and here I am I've got a material now that was created from all my own artwork um, and so can just kind of take a look at what this looks like nothing too special but does get the point across so where would you want to use this well a good application is something like with mountains where we spend a lot of time creating materials and gradients um, but one thing you could do is create a mountain and go into same process here first the UV edit and the paint wizard. I've got my landscape. I'm gonna hit finish. All right, and go into the 3D paint. And now I can do some cool things. Like first things first, go into my swatches. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna pick my snow cap and change my brush size and my brightness and just kind of around here and I want a lot a lot bigger than that 
just kind of add a snow cap to these mountains okay go into my layers functions new layer now I'm gonna add my, you know, my my tree forest canopy part. So I'll just add this all in. And this is, you know, you can imagine all the places that this is gonna be really powerful, you know, if you've got a 3D model of a car or a person, you know. Spend a lot of time in here getting it with, with your sketch pad drawing in these different colors, okay? So go to layers, let's add a new layer set, or just new layer, I mean. And let's pick like a, this this kind of rock looking thing. Make it a bit smaller. And we'll maybe just kind of add some rock looking features to kind of give us some actual, you know, a little bit more depth to it. As we would see rock faces, the steeper, the steeper we are. So we've kind of got, to me, a looking pretty realistic mountain range. And same thing, we can go back into startup, and here is our material. Turn off the reflectance, and that's looking, you know, pretty realistic. And then I'm just going to drop in my grayscale gorilla linear daylight and voila I've got a pretty interesting and intriguing looking mountain range right there so this has been a quick tutorial on how to use body paint um, just to get set up and begin editing your 3d models uh, I hope this was helpful and uh, leave a comment or questions for me and I'll get back to them as soon as I can thanks